Well, a deadly fire in the Bronx this morning. The victim, a 38-year-old woman. The utilities had been turned off in the home in the Williams Bridge section, and neighbors say they have been complaining about conditions in this house for a long time. So what started all of this? Here's Avenue News reporter Sonia Rincon. Inspectors and investigators are going through the burned out house, which was not abandoned and overrun with squatters, despite what some neighbors were starting to think after noticing utilities had been shut off. The people who lived here and the woman who died here were actually members of a family that owned the place for decades, but it had fallen into disrepair. Yesterday I was back here sweeping and I said it's only a matter of time. That's why neighbors weren't surprised to be woken up by fire engines at two in the morning the house on East 212th Street was up in flames. Very scary. We were all ready to go, but the firemen did a great job of continuing the fire. Surveillance video shows the victim's nephews who live downstairs and their friends knocking on the door. They try again and again to get her attention as fire sweeps through her upstairs section where she lived, but they can't. Firefighters then show up, removing 38-year-old Tracy Ann Douglas, who was unresponsive. But paramedics couldn't revive her, and she was pronounced dead at Jacoby Hospital. Well, when her mom was here, it wasn't too bad. But after she passed, that's when things you know, went downhill. A family member tells us Douglas was still grieving the loss of her mother six years ago and struggling with depression. Neighbors couldn't help but notice an increasingly sad situation. The nephews and them lived downstairs. They, they were just living in there, no, no um, water, no heat, no electricity. The home, the yard, and the bills had become unmanageable. And some neighbors say they were getting fed up with Douglas's noisy nephews downstairs and their aggressive dog. As the neglect became more evident, several neighbors tell us they called 311 repeatedly. Some offered to help clean up the property. If you need bags, whatever you want, I will give it to you just to make the place look like somebody lives here. But it didn't work. Neighbors say they just hope someone takes over the house who will take good care of it. No one else was hurt in the fire. The cause is still under investigation. In the Williamsbridge section of the Bronx, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.